What's going on everybody? It's Eric Rayweather back here and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you a really nice way to score in the red zone in Mad 19 the area of the field that is just Always the biggest pain to score. It's hard to you know find open receivers there So the play we want to look at is out of the gun bunch formation and it's the bench pivot now Make sure you have your tallest best spectacular catching wide receiver on the the single wide receiver side and he's just there as like a safety blanket at the end if nothing else develops now where I really like to run this play is I like to run it around the five four to six yard line anywhere in there now if I'm on the right hash I want the bunch on the right side if I'm on the left hash I want the bunch on the left side my first read is always a tight end as soon as he makes his cut up the field you just throw a bullet pass if, if that pocket is there if it's open the window is there all you do is just hold his button down, throw a bullet pass, and he will hold on to this ball the majority of the time. Every once in a while, he might get hit and drop it, but for the most part, if you get to this spot of the field, uh, there's a very good chance that you're going to get in. If you, if you run this play a couple times, very good chance you get in. As you see, A is open. Now, if you don't like that, you can wait for RB to come underneath on his whip route. He's also going to be another option. That is going to be open a good bit as well. Um, a should be open. The tight end should be open the majority of the time. Uh, sometimes you'll have both open, but in instances where A is not open, that typically means RB is going to be open when he comes underneath. So, if you take your look and you say, oh, I'm not really sure about it, it looks like it might be covered, then just wait for the whip route to come underneath, and then you can just throw a regular bullet pass on that, or you can throw a low pass if you feel a little bit safer. Sometimes that's a little bit better in certain situations, but one of these two guys should almost always... Uh, get it in for you. you see we've run it a bunch of times and we've pretty much scored every single time on it Like I said a is the first read and then RB underneath is always going to be the second read It's a very hard combo to, to defend and it's they're very quick hitting routes So it's kind of hard to, to use them and if the user does bail out and go over there to use her, You know either of those routes that's what's going to leave X open on the back end for a high point anyway, so That's why I say you want your biggest you know, tallest, spectacular catch wide receiver on the single wide receiver side because he's on that deep in route. And if all else fails, you just throw a high bullet to him by holding LB or L1 and bullet pass it to him. And, you know, the high point pass is, you know, always kind of cheesy. It just, it's one of those things that it's very hard to intercept. And the wide receiver, even in a situation right there, you see there was coverage, there was traffic. Good wide receivers hold on to the ball. Guys like Julio Jones are going to hold on to the ball. Uh, if you're playing mud, you know, guys like Randy Moss, Jerry Rice, these guys just hold on to the ball. They're just, they're, they're kind of glitchy. That's just what they do. They go up and attack the ball, and it's hard to get it away from them. But, like I said, A is going to be who you're going to throw to the most on this play because against most coverages that you see inside the red zone, like a lot of cover fours and stuff like that, he's going to be open. A lot of times versus a cover two, you're going to hit the whip route, but those are the two main coverages people like to run in the red zone. So as you can see, that the A tight end is money. It's very quick hitting. It's very hard to use or that because it's such a quick route. If that's not there, you take the whip route underneath. And last but not least, you just high point past the in route if nothing else is open. And you will find yourself, you know, scoring more often in the red zone if you if you use this play. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.